Hi world, this is Chatty Dad One coming at ya. Been a while, have been away, and I'm uh, back. Wanted to give you guys some information. This is a FEMA daily operations brief that you can get. It is available to anyone, anywhere you can get online. What you do is you go on there and push in FEMA daily operations briefings and put the date down there. You, they usually come out by noon every day. They usually come out about 8 o'clock in the morning. Um, and you can even subscribe to it. But, um, and, you know, it's got some good information on it. Good information on it. Let's um, go to today's daily operations brief. Significant activity, 15th through the 16th. There's the flooding in Colorado. There's a couple of um, hurricanes. Significant weather, earthquake activity, um, declaration activity. Um, you know, there's just some good information you can learn. And you can find out what's what's going on without having to rely on the media or somebody who isn't going to push these is, these issues especially if you're in an, a declared emergency and you can find out whether your state has been approved for the emergency to be declared and have funds available and help there's been seven confirmed fatalities in Colorado 1,253 missing people See, there's a uh, you know a lot of information you can glean from this, and I've noticed that it differs from what the mainstream media says to us. They're not telling us everything that these briefings tell us. But um, yeah, there's a lot of information here. The flooding. Um, New Mexico, the Navajo nations. Um, you can see whether they've been approved or, you know, or what. Find out what the hurricanes are doing, the Atlantic, Pacific, Eastern Pacific. There's remnant, remnants of Manuel. Um, national weather forecast, what they think is going to be going on, active watches and warnings. Uh, it looks like there's still a little bit stuff going on around up in here. This area here, well, a lot of stuff going on everywhere basically. But uh, you see what it is. This precipitation forecast of three day. And I have uh, followed these briefings for a little while now. And there's some good info you can get from these things. There's a river forecast, seven day. Looking in Colorado. Obviously, problems there. It's major flooding going on. Um, critical fire warnings, watches, space weather, nothing going on, according to them. National fire activity, like a little bit of California going on still. A few other little places. See, here's the disaster requests and declarations. Disaster amendments. Open field offices right here. OFDC cadre member status. MCOV fleet deployment status. And the MCOV um, 
let's see if this was it. No, this is IMAT, Incident Management Assessment Team. But the um, other one, the MCOV, that's Mobile um, Command Office Vehicle. And uh, we'll we'll I'll show you what those look like. MCOV. There's they are the big old RVs, all decked out satellite dishes on top and they got bunches of them some of them are painted up like this but most of them are just white with the um, Russian blue colored stripe on it ooh look at that that's bizarre a fire, a tornado, a fire tornado. But um, anyway, getting back to the briefing. The status, there's some unavailable. Um, you'd have to go and look at all this stuff. Um, so disaster support deployments looks like they've deployed one um, three nine seventeen nine sixteen okay for the sixteenth and seventeenth. ETAs 109 16 oh at 916 3 on 917 I guess I, I, I think that's what that's saying but you might want to come on here and check it out too IA registration statistics Um, and there's a lot of opportunities for employment here too if you want to work um, you know with disasters and and uh, stuff like that I know during Hurricane Katrina after it the cleanup and the stuff you could go down there and um, I work in the construction handyman business and um, they were paying um, like three to five hundred dollars a house to go and um, dry the house in, patch the holes in the roof, just patch them. Not nothing sophisticated, but just patch them and dry them in to where they wasn't continuing to get wet. And you could do several a day, especially if you had a big crew, you know, and you could make a lot of money. So there's opportunities available. But um, anyway, it's IMAT. Okay, let's see. You'll have to go and check it out. But, but check it out. It's uh, got some interesting activity, um, interesting stuff. I noticed that this is national team status. Washington D.C. Enhanced Watch and then not activated, not activated, but Miami, Florida is activated. I don't know why Miami has been activated, but it has for uh, a week or so now, for a little while. Miami has been active, activated, but I, like I say, I don't know why. But anyway, go on this site and check it out. Um, you might be able to learn some information, learn some things, 
that uh, would be beneficial to you and your community. And, you know, I mean, because it's important to know if your state's been declared a disaster area, well, then you've got totally new laws. You're, you're in a different ball game right then. Absolutely, totally different ball game. You could be under curfew. I mean, a lot of different things could be in effect. So, it's always to be prepared. It's always best to be prepared for the worst, hope for the best, you know. So, anyway, I hope this information is useful and helpful to anybody, somebody. I'll put the links below. Go on here and check it out. I, I check it out daily. Some in interesting stuff you can find out. This is Chatty Dad 1. God bless and good luck to us all. Never give up your guns. Your rights go right along with them. And buy all the ammunition and, and prepare as much as you can while we can. You know, however you got to do it. Um, it'll be worth it. This is Chatty Dad 1. Over and out.